Welcome to Whiskey Wednesday. My name is Dean, and this is Eno E Whiskey Whiskey. Welcome. Today I'll be tasting for you Waffens. This is from the Medley family. This is actually an outsourced whiskey, so it's really hard to find out exactly who is uh, producing this whiskey for these guys. Uh, the story that goes behind it, there's eight generations of, of distillers, which says right here in the front, and the big, big huge eight, which makes people believe this is actually an age statement when it's not. It's actually just talking about eight, eight decades or eight generations of distillers in the family that have been making this stuff. The stories I've been reading it though shows there's been multiple ins and outs of different companies and corporations and things like that. And as of right now, somebody's definitely outsourcing this material for the Medley family, but not finding exactly who. Whoever, but um, Charles Medley, the gentleman who's currently the distiller for um, for Wathens, knows how to pick definitely some barrels to be able to get a good flavor profile. I mean, it's not a bad whiskey by any means, it's just that it's outsourced from somebody. And because of that, you don't get an age statement, you don't get the consistency if you're actually doing it yourself, as I have found. This is a 40%, sorry, 47% alcohol by volume, or 94 proof. Mash bill is 77% corn, 10% rye, 13% malted barley. As I said, we're talking about eight generations of distillers. And let's find out what's going on here. I've tried this in the past, and it was kind of caught me off guard the first time I tried it. It's been probably six months ago since I tried this. If I remember correctly, it was a little more on the stouter side, so we're going to find it here in a second. If my memory serves me well, or if I have some timer's disease. We'll find out here in a minute. Nice light coloration, nice light gold. Which tells me it's going to be younger, probably somewhere between maybe four to nine years, as I've found online. It's, you know, at some places saying this whiskey could be anywhere between four to nine years in age, which is pretty broad, but that's the way it goes. Lots and lots of windows, so this should be chewier and uh, drier on the palate. The nose is very, very light, like it's like barely even there. A little bit of alcohol forwardness. I am getting some apple, some brown sugar, vanilla, cinnamon. Most of the time when you get vanilla and cinnamon and butterscotch out of a whiskey, that's usually coming from the wood. If you hit, if you notice a lot of the a lot of the reviews that are out there for different whiskeys, including my own. You're going to hear vanilla and butterscotch and caramel quite often, and that's typically because of the, what comes out of the wood. So, not bad though. Let's see. Definitely very punchy, or in the very, very first part of it. Very, very robust, very strong, but short. Definitely a flash in the pan, nothing doesn't hang around, doesn't make a, doesn't make a statement other than here I am and now I'm out of your face. I do get some clove, some like walnut, and citrus, like orange zest. Not bad. Second time around, of course, is not near as bold as what the first taste was. That first one definitely will pop your wrist square in the face. If you like what we do here at Eno E, please hit the like and subscribe button down at the bottom of the page and leave us a comment. I'd love to hear from you. On Wednesdays, we do post pictures of the whiskey, bourbon, or scotch we're going to be tasting that day. So please go to Instagram, like the pictures there, and leave us a comment. I'd love to hear from you. The best bourbon, scotch, or whiskey that's out there is the one that you like to drink the way that you like to drink it. That being said, hope you all have a wonderful evening and cheers.